Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Train of Thought. I am Eniko. I'll be playing with trains, giving you thoughts. Yeah. This is the third episode of six that I'm recording in a row. I'm getting quite fatigued already. This is not going to end well. So we're here back again in glorious new butt way with all different graphics, which I find kind of offensive, really. I've uh, done some things off screen. So this huge area here is much smaller than a 6x6 airport we're going to start with. But this will accommodate any size airport, the biggest airport in the game, which is currently not available to us. So we can make a small airport and a city airport. And the Intercontinental is an 11 by 9 airport with two hangars and a 10 catchment area. And oh, it's so good. We can make a heliport now. That's quite interesting, that is. Um, and obviously, New B Butway needs to have the biggest airport in the map. So I allotted a uh, area for it, although it's like very near to Sanning Hall as well. Is Sanning Hall a city? Yes. Okay, so basically Sanning Hall and New Butway are going to grow this way and hopefully they grow around it. I mean, you see them growing here and they're filling this in, okay? But I'm not quite sure. I might need to find a new town. So I talked about this the last episode. It's here under the town directory, but you have to turn it on in advanced settings. So let me just show you that. Just filter by town. And then... Um, yeah, you can set this to forbidden, allowed, or custom town layout. I just set it to custom town layout. You can't actually make a large town. I think this might be the editing window. Like if you're making your own map in the map editor, this is the window you get to spawn a town. And they just make it available in the game as well. And they disabled making large towns. That's the only reason I can think of for this large button to be here and it not being allowed. But let's just, let's just for the, the fun of it, let's see what uh, a small town costs. Oh, seventeen and a half million dollars, except pounds. Oh, that costs thirty million pounds. We don't have that much. I mean, we're doing pretty well, but that's a bit... Uh, it's a bit much. So, you see me scrolling away now, trying to find... This is a huge map. I have basically made this so I can play this map for years to come. Unless it goes corrupt, then I will cry. And I will start a new map. Okay, so I I decided not to go with Lil Winston because it's a bit of a funny name, isn't it? Yeah, I I decided to go with Cunway, which is also a really bad name. But it's like in a nice flat area here, which I like. It's good for expansion. Um, I built my station here so it can grow around it and so it's not in the way of the town growth, which can be important. A builder's yard. Oh, that's interesting. Um, I set up some of the infrastructure already. Conway currently, like, freaking hates me. They find me appalling. Well, I find your mum appalling. Here, have some... This is what you do when they don't like you. You're like, ah, I have some trees. Got enough trees in you. Still appalling. Well, you know, can't, can't have everything, I suppose. So yeah, there's Sudberg Springs here. There's Windingworth, there's Drintberg. And over here is fin Finborough Bay, which is quite good. I don't know who lives there, but, you know, it's quite good. So what we're going to do is... Mm, you always want to buy the station first, because then if you change the layout of the land, they don't get as whiny about it. Well, they get whiny about it. Like, if you change 
the way that the land is laid out, then the local authority is going to freaking hate you, which is not ideal. But if they hate you, they're not going to let you build a station. So what you want to do is build the station first and then make all the other shit. Which is a bit interesting, I think. I think that's that's a bit interesting, really. How do I want to do this? Like, it's always the challenge to build a station so that you don't completely ruin everything ever, but also you have enough room. Okay, this is... what are you? You're a hotel. Why are you a hotel here? That is a very bad idea. But if you insist. Yeah, I'll probably just do it. Do one there. And then what I always do, I always make a four long station because that accommodates pretty big trains. And then do I have to go all the way up here? Like, I can't. Oh no, wait, that goes down. Okay. Uh, this is a bit of a tricky one, isn't it? What are you? Are you a plantation? Uh, that's gonna be a problem. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna do like a tunnel through here. Hopefully it doesn't crash my game. No, it doesn't. Okay. So yeah, that's fine. go down here. This is going to be another buildy episode, I suppose. Um, today's vlogging um, thing is a topic. Topic. Topic is a word. It's my um, MMO relationship history, which is long and horrible. Well, I shouldn't say horrible, but it's certainly long and, you know, there's a lot there. So in case you didn't know, which you probably don't, I um, started playing MMOs back like in the 90s, like 98 or something. Like really long ago, like back in that time, um, you didn't have, in the Netherlands, you didn't have like, does this go by here? Oh, that is amazing. Hmm. Yeah, I can work with that. That's fine. So I'm just going to hook up all these towns and make this into a sort of growth area for passengers. And then I'll have enough to justify building airports. What I'm probably going to do is, like, raise this up out of the water, which is going to cost so much money. And then build the airport there, because I don't... Well, I could just build it here. But I don't know if I want to reserve that much space, because it does need to grow that way. I mean, otherwise I'm also going to have to transport... Like, if I'm doing it here, you have the airport part of the train station. So that's quite good. And I could, like, raise up some land around. They did this in Japan. You know, they built a man-made island to put an airport on it. Because they didn't have enough space. Because it's freaking Japan. They never have enough space for anything. I hope you actually take anything. Okay, good, you do. That's fine, then. This is actually quite a nice area. I, I'm getting, like, all of these, um... Industries. So yeah, I started that kind of thing with MMOs um, in the 80s. I started with Nexus, the Kingdom of the Winds, which is a Korean MMO, which I think started before Ultima Online. Like, the Ultima Online guys want to pretend that they were the first to make an actual MMO, but it's not really true. This is kind of, sort of, eh, yeah, true, you know? Okay, go away, I don't like you. No! 
Okay, so I don't know how to do this. Maybe Sudberg just doesn't get its own station. Which of you is bigger? You are a city. And you are not. It's very interesting. Ha. Okay. If I do it this way. See, I need enough to roll in and roll out. Sudberg Springs, okay. That's fine. That'll do. Um, yeah. You're gonna have a bit of an issue here. Oh, God. Bugger. Hmm. <laughs> I started with, uh... Kingdom of the Winds Nexus, which is a delightful little 2D MMO, still going. Came out before Ultima Online, got ported to English. I think for the longest time it was Nexon who um, had that game under its wing and some some English team that I can't remember. Um, I think the same guys who did Nexus, the Kingdom of the Wind wins, then also went on to do a game called Dark Ages, not to be confused with Dark Age of Camelot, which came by far, far later. Oh, I don't know what to do about this. It's a bit of a pickle. Mm, what I could do is put the station over here. But then how do I get behind it? Hmm. I could do a T-junction. So it just rolls in here and then rolls back out. Does this go anywhere? To Chubbero. Yeah, I suppose I did that. That's fine. And then I can still have... Um, still have this here. So that's fine. They're not. I, this is not ideal, though. Oh, for fuck's sake! These two towns are just way too close to each other, and I don't know if I approve of their closeness. Hmm. What are you? Oh, you're a dairy farm. No, it's not going to work. None of it's going to work. For the love of... Would that work? That'll work. It's not ideal, but it'll work. And that's what we need right now. So I can stop faffing about. And, you know, actually talk about stuff. So they did Dark Ages. And Dark Ages was quite a good little game. Um... Um, I think the guy who localised it was Kenneth something? He made quite a good post about doing data analysis on MMOs at some point. Okay, so this is kind of an issue, so I don't get this station anymore. Hmm. Oh well. That's just the thing that we have to live with, I suppose. So he got it from the Koreans, and in, in Korea it was just a game. But he gave it like an entire setting and role-playing rules and all of this stuff. And it was really quite good in terms of being an MMO that people still role-played in. Like, you have to understand, this was a different time entirely. Um, the, the, the formula as started by EverQuest and perfected by World of Warcraft was not a thing at that time. So people were still figuring it out. And this guy, obviously, he'd been playing a lot of MUDs, uh, multi-user dungeons, which were the, like, the things that came before MMOs. Oh, that's wrong. Yeah. Um, the thing that came before MMOs 
and um, those were always very role play heavy and lore heavy and setting heavy and it was like if you're play if you're saying something out of character and they did this in Nexus uh, Kingdom of the Winds too which I quite enjoyed it's like you have to put it in parentheses double parentheses to set to show that you're out of character and it had stuff like um, religions that all had their ink there were like a bunch of gods and they all this is a bit unfortunate but we can work with it it's fine they all um, had their own oh this is also a bit unfortunate but we can work with that as well so what we need to do here is just just ruin all of this then have a nice long cry, make a cup of tea, and um, feel better about it. That, I did that wrong. So yeah, and it, it was basically woven, roleplay was woven into this game. Like, you could be a priest and then you could be anyone and belong to one of these religions, right? And that would give you certain... If you attended mass, like religious mass, am I saying that right? Or is it mass? I don't know. Whatever. Um, one, two, three, four. So this is a trick. Ah, god damn it! I did it wrong. Very expensive trick, I might add. If you you can't put signals on bridges. Which is kind of dumb if you ask me. But whatever. If you want to have signals over a long bridge, you have to raise up these little bits of land. So you can put a bit of land rail on it and then you can put a signal on there. Which we need because we don't want traffic getting stuck here. So yeah, you and, and if you were a priest, you could become... Uh, a priest of the religion and then you could once a week declare mass and you would have priests in character and priestesses by the way um, talking about their religion and like as if it were a real religion and it was really cool it was a lot of fun and for attending mass you got a bunch of experience and you got a bunch of faith points and you could spend faith points to, uh, that's wrong, to use your prayer necklace to pray to your god and a variety of things could happen. And that was all very cool. And I played that for a very long time and I had like, um, contests where people would write poetry or make music. Like, and you could get distinguished rewards from that, and you could run for office. That was a thing in that game, you could run for office. So you could become a demagogue or a guard, because most of the in-game policing was actually done by your fellow players, which is very interesting and not always effective. There were two towns initially that you could join as a citizen in Dark Ages. And Dark Ages is still running, so you can check all of this if you want. I don't know if it's still like roleplay heavy. Probably not because no MMO is anymore. But, you know, it's there. You can play it still. So, yeah, you could become a guard and you could switch uh, towns. But to be uh, switch towns, you have to become a respected citizen. No, wait, you had to get respected citizens to vote for you. And you became a respected citizen by mentoring someone who was new to the game. And mentoring mentorship implied that you teach them how to play the game and give them help and stuff. We're going to put some extra there. So let's see if this is all linked up properly. And that was all very, very cool. And I played that for a very long time. And then I got to Ultima Online, and at that point EverQuest was clearly winning by the time I got into Ultima Online. 
Is this like several? Uh, it's only one fruit plantation. Why is this one so big? Maybe the other ones is also so big and I just hit the Z key again because I'm an idiot. Um, let's see, this is all in. Yeah, and this is all out. This is wrong. You are wrong. You are wrong and bad and you should feel bad. Okay, it's not completely ideal, it's fine. Okay, so now I just set up a train to go back and front, then once you have passengers going, and probably mail, probably have to add some add a mail cart. Mm, I'm going to go with this again. Where is it? Can't find it. Is it this one? Um, let's just have a look-see then. So after that, I went on to Ultima Online, and there was role-playing there, and like player run turns and stuff, but it wasn't the same. It wasn't like actually encouraged by the game, which is really, it's it's an old, old-school MMO type thing to do that. And I don't think that's something that you can do anymore, really, if you get down to it. What are you? No, but I want to know what kind of train you are. NS plan UDE3. Well, okay then. Oh, you're this one. Okay. So we're gonna be how many passengers? Max. Okay, just gonna be like this many? Oh, but I have to do the entire thing, male. I can't. Do just one thing, mail. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Oh, well. So you go to here, and then 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 you go back. I don't actually need to do this. I, I realised it'll fill in the implicit ones. So that's fine. Like, it'll actually make implicit orders. So that's that's fine, really. See, what you can do with the old train system is I could have this part passengers and part mail. And now I wouldn't have to run an extra train for it. What is your top speed? 125. So I need another mail train. Ah, uh, boy. I'll just buy another one of those, I suppose. That's a lot of mail though. That'll be fine. So, yeah. I don't, I never really saw the point of mail. I suppose it's just the thing that you do to get stuff growing. Um. Oh my god, how time flies. So after. Dark Age is an Ultima Online, and I went into... I played a little bit of Dark Age of Camelot, and I played a lot of Korean MMOs, and they were all unilaterally awful. Do you still hate me? Yes, you still hate me. Well, boo-hoo. Let's do some advertising campaigns. That will um, increase the number of uh, people using... Um, Amount of passengers, I think. See, this is kind of weird because this one has a lot more pa possible passengers, but this is a this is a city, so eventually this is going to be bigger than this, which is why we did that. Uh, large advertising campaign, sure. Just throwing money away here. This is probably not going to make me much money here either. Yeah, see, every time you do anything at a town, they they hate you. Then it becomes okay again, so it's fine. How much money are you losing me? Oh, that's quite a few bags of mail. That's quite a bunch of passengers. That's quite good, that is. 
I'm rather surprised actually. I might need to have a couple more car carriages. And I didn't like World of Warcraft. I mean, I came from this background of roleplay. I do tabletop roleplay and I played roleplayed in MMOs for the longest time. And then MM uh, WoW comes along and basically roleplay is dead. Okay, they have roleplay servers, but they were all unilaterally terrible, basically. I mean, let's not kid ourselves. And since then, I haven't really been in, into MMOs. There was also City of Heroes, which, while it wasn't like obligatory roleplay, it was still pretty good because there was you could actually play villains and um, heroes. And you can't roleplay in World of Warcraft. It's just... Just don't even kid yourself into trying. Like, the only... Okay, so what happens in, in roleplay in an MMO is... You need some kind of conflict, otherwise you just get relationship drama, and that's the only thing. And in in Dark Ages, you had this whole player-run town thing, so everything was done by the players, which was amazing. And you had conflicts, and you had people who preferred one town, and you had all this national pride, which is something that that they carried over from Nexus. Um, and that worked and you could like have feuds with people from different religions because they were opposing religions and all of that was quite cool. Um, in, in Ultima Online you had the open PvP world and you had the non-open PvP world where people were like guilds would just war each other and say like okay we're at war now this is actually quite bad because this is a 90 degree turn so I should fix that. There, that's fixed now. And so you could have actual armed conflicts, which is also very good. But in WoW, it's like point point one, you don't get any investment because it's like a theme park. You can't own any buildings and there is nothing in the buildings, like in Stormwind or something. There's just nothing to it, really. It's set dressing has no substance whatsoever. Um, and the only people you could fight, you can, besides dueling, which is another shit fest in and of itself, you can fight anyone, except the, the, the horde guys if you were a lions, or the alliance guy if you were a horde, except they made it so you couldn't talk to them. So you couldn't have any meaningful horde alliance conflict because it was impossible to commu communicate with them. And it's like, well, I see what you're going for. You're trying to reduce abuse. And I see what you're going for. But in the end, having people slash spit or slash fart on you as they camp your corpses, corpses just as annoying as someone calling you names, I feel personally. So wow, it's just, it's where roleplay goes to die, basically. And it's the same thing with Final Fantasy XI, Final Fantasy XIV. All modern MMOs are dead in terms of roleplay, and it's quite sad. Because I think, as a virtual world, MMOs are far more interesting, just as art, than they are, you know, as as theme parks where you go through a grind. It just doesn't doesn't seem like a good thing to me. I mean, maybe maybe you all disagree, but. I don't like it. I'm not a fan. I'll be honest. You still won't let me build a bus station, will you? Oh, I'll screw you two then. So, um, I see that we're getting pretty to the end of this. So I've played like 50 MMOs in my time. And basically since the late 90s, they've all gotten worse and worse. Like, Dark Ages, Nexus the Kingdom of the Winds, Ultima Online, to a lesser degree, um, Star Wars Galaxies, pre-CU. I can't remember what CU stands for, but it was an update that basically was like, we're gonna be more like WoW. 
because everyone wants to be wow, even though it's shit. <clears throat> Excuse me, I may have let my bitter side show there a bit. And yeah, I just don't, I miss MMOs when you could immerse yourself into a virtual world and it was more like, oh, there's lore and it looks pretty like you had some kind of actual investment in the world. There are, there is a game which is coming out, or being made, I mean, Shroud of the Avatar, and maybe that'll be good. I backed it quite heavily, so we'll see how that goes. Let's see how things are going back home before we wrap things up here. Okay, this is still empty, so that's doing well. Um... I'm still slowly getting some buildings near the park, but not quite quick as I like. Although this is filling up quite nicely. And this has a bazillion passengers, apparently. Which is a bit worrying, if I'm going to be honest. But I suppose that's also fine. Yeah. My um, headquarters hasn't grown yet. I thought it would be by now. Well, I guess I'm too poor. <laughs> That's not good. Marfing Field is also growing qu quite rapidly. Once this entire area is like covered in city, I'll probably start making a subway or something. But we'll see about that when we get there, which probably isn't for a long time, because once it grows a bit, like the actual radial growth is less and less because there's more and more tiles to fill. Okay, so yeah, I used to love MMOs and now I hate them because there's no roleplay and no immersion anymore and no ownership. So that's the TLDW for this vlog topic. And as always, thank you for watching. Bye-bye!